Here's that famous song about the Columbia River and the Grand Coulee Dam. Right here at the Grand Coulee Dam. Green Douglas fir, where the waters cut through. Down her wild mountains and canyons she flew. Canadian Northwest to the ocean so blue. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Your power is turning our darkness to dawn. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Many great rivers that power. Yakima Snake and the click a tattoo Sandy Willamette in the Hood River too Roll on Columbia, roll on Roll on Columbia, roll on Roll on Columbia, roll on Your power is turning our darkness to dawn Bonneville now there are ships in the locks The water has risen and covered the rocks Shiploads of plenty are soon past the docks Roll on Columbia, roll on Roll on Columbia, roll on Roll on Columbia, roll on Your power is turning our darkness to dawn Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Turn the camera around. There's a deer right there looking at me. He's walking along the fence. Jefferson's vision would not let him rest An empire he saw in the Pacific Northwest St. Louis and Clark and they did the rest Roll on Columbia, roll on Roll on Columbia, roll on Roll on Columbia, roll on Your power is turning our darkness to dawn Roll on, Columbia, roll on. And on up the river is the Grand Coulee Dam, the biggest thing built by the hand of a man to run the great factories and water the land. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll Power is turning our darkness to dawn. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Every musical instrument makes some sort of vibration in order to make a sound. But what does vibration mean? Can you vibrate? Well, please show me. I would like to watch. Yes, that is a vibration. When I ask students to vibrate, they do all kinds of stuff. It's awesome. So a vibration is an oscillation of the parts of a fluid or an elastic solid whose equilibrium has been disturbed or of an electromagnetic wave. I don't understand any of that because I'm not a scientist, but I can show how different instruments vibrate. Let's take a guitar, for instance. If I play a guitar, what vibrates? 
Roderick isn't too hot at playing the guitar, but he can get the job done. So what vibrates? You are right. The strings vibrate. They vibrate so quickly that they kind of look like a blur, right? This guitar is slightly out of tune. Perfect. That's the way I love it. So what else vibrates in a guitar? Well, you're right. The air inside this hole vibrates, correct? And as a matter of fact, all of the wood in the guitar vibrates when I pluck a string. I can feel it vibrating against my body right now. And all the wood and the air inside the guitar vibrating makes all the air around the guitar and in the whole room vibrate, and that's what goes in your little ear and makes a sound. Now, scientists would describe the sound of a guitar in exactly the same way, except I'd use the word oscillation, right? When I pluck a string, it oscillates, which makes the wood oscillate and the air oscillate. And that's what goes in your little ear and makes a sound. How about this piano? How does it make a vibration? Well, if you look on the inside of the piano, you can see that when I strike a key, A little felt hammer comes up and strikes the strings. The strings are vibrating, but they're vibrating so fast you can't see them. But if I put my finger on these three strings that are vibrating together, it stops the vibration. You can hear a little vibration in the rest of the piano. Which leads us to know that when you strike a key on the piano, the string vibrates, the wood of the piano vibrates, all of the wood of the piano vibrates, the air around the piano vibrates, and that's what goes in your little ear and makes a sound. How about this old drum? What vibrates on the drum? Yes, of course you are correct. This top part, it's called the head, vibrates. As a matter of fact, if you look really closely, you can see the head of the drum vibrate. And the truth is, the drum head vibrates. All of the drum vibrates. The air inside the drum vibrates. All of the air vibrates around the drum. And that's what you hear as a sound. I can even put my hand right here above the drum, not touching it, but just above it. And I can feel the vibrations of the drum. I can feel the air molecules tickling my hand. If you try that at home, if you have a drum, maybe you can feel the vibrations of the air molecules above the drum head. How about this cymbal? What vibrates on this cymbal? Let's try this slow motion and see if you can see the vibrations of the cymbal. We have studied the history. We've studied how to sing it. And we've studied what the words mean. And now you can sing it by yourself. So please sing along with my special guests. Thank you.
Triumph shall win. 